Rishi set to try and convince European leaders to change law that stopped Rwanda flights. Rishi Sunak is set to warn European leaders that the international system for policing human trafficking is not working. The Prime Minister will tell the Council of Europe meeting in Iceland that both European communities and the world's most vulnerable are paying the price for the failure to prevent unlawful migration. It comes as Mr. Sunak's Conservative administration attempts to pass into law measures designed to stop asylum seekers crossing the English Channel in small boats. The illegal migration bill aims to send asylum seekers who arrive in Britain via unauthorized routes back home or to a third country such as Rwanda, as well as cutting the daily £5.5 million cost of housing migrants who make it to the UK. During his time in the Icelandic capital, Mr Sunak will hold talks with the European Court of Human Rights, ECHR, over reforms to how Rule 39 works, an order that prevented the inaugural deportation flight taking asylum seekers to Rwanda last year. Speaking ahead of his trip, the Prime Minister said, Every single point on each route used by people traffickers to smuggle people across our continent represents another community struggling to deal with the human cost of this barbaric enterprise. It is very clear that our current international system is not working and our communities and the world's most vulnerable people are paying the price. We need to do more to cooperate across borders and across jurisdictions to end illegal migration and stop the boats. I am clear that as an active European nation with a proud history helping those in need, the UK will be at the heart of this. A Downing Street official said the challenge of unlawful migration was not only a UK issue. They argued that the scourge of illegal migration was placing unbearable pressures on countries throughout Europe, citing cases had risen by 50% in the past year. Mr. Sunak and Home Secretary Suella Braverman have unveiled a host of measures to tackle the flow of asylum seekers using unofficial routes to come to Britain. As part of the illegal migration bill which is currently at its committee stage in the House of Lords, the plans have come in for fierce criticism, with Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby using a speech in the Lords last week to label the bill morally unacceptable and politically impractical. Downing Street said the Prime Minister will argue during his trip to the Council of Europe that individual measures, such as his policies designed to stop the boats, must go together with international cooperation to establish a global asylum framework fit for purpose. The Council of Europe was established following the Second World War to uphold democracy and freedom throughout the continent. Tuesday's gathering is only the fourth time the institution, which counts 46 countries as members, has met since its founding in 1949. Mr. Sunak is due to address the summit before holding bilateral meetings with individual European leaders. Number 10 said the Conservative Party leader intends to discuss ECHR reform, including on Rule 39. When he meets court president Siofro O'Leary, the council's meeting, which Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is due to join virtually, will also focus on the situation in Ukraine and how international allies can hold Russia to account for breaches of international law since the invasion of Kyiv. The prime minister will sign the UK up to the register of damages to ensure the people of Ukraine are compensated for the losses incurred as a result of Russian President Vladimir Putin's war, Number 10 said. The register is a mechanism to record and document evidence and claims of damage, loss or injury as a result of Russian aggression against Ukraine.